Welcome back to the rig review and today I'm going to take a look at the super cute Lego Wally rig. As always the link to the rig is in the description and I will also post it on the Animation Buffet site and feel free to browse around on that one where I collect and review all kinds of rigs. And speaking of browsing feel free to browse around my channel as I post lectures and other reviews and product reviews, animation news and all kinds of things. Feel free to check it out and if you like it subscribe why not and that way you don't miss any of my uploads. All right, so that's the rig. Let's turn on the controllers. Bam, and here we are. Now, when you download this, you also get two other assets. So let me turn this off. You have a plant. Here is the plant. And then there's a switch here. So let me just quickly go through that. This is your main controller to do this. You can rotate all kinds of things. You can scale as well. So a little test here, everything seems to be okay. You have options here, secondary controls. Turn this on. You got untouchable visibility, model visibility, reference, normal, templates, and so on. Lots of options there. So you have that main controller. Then you have this one to move this around. And then you have another one to move this around. I'm a big fan when you have lots of options in terms of all of these. Then you got the inner one here to control. And you can see how that pivot is like this. It's also cutely model like a lego piece very dark you can go in there and you see a little bit of definition there but this is what it looks like feel free to change your color if you must then you got the box controller here to move it around like that but you can also move around like this and you have secondaries to turn this on and then you get a secondary controller as well here then let's go back here you have that round controller here that turns this around and rotates like this bam also secondaries as well and you got this one that is a rotate and pivots off of down here to do that. Then there's the plant, same idea here. You got your secondaries, let's just turn this on. Joint visibility on off, you have control visibility on off and model visibility on off, reference, template and normal as well here. So this is the same deal, you get all your secondaries. As you go in here, you have this one that moves this around. Again, this one has a secondary as well. Then you got this one here that rotates the bottom piece here, as you can see. As you can see here again, a little Lego piece separated like that. There's no translate, just rotate on this. With this one, you have everything to move. You can see the blue piece in there as well. Then you have this one here where you can move this around. So that will detach the plant. This has also secondary controllers. And then you have plant controllers as well here. So for the stem and the leaf rotations, no translates and no scale here. Same with this, you can only rotate around, but that gives you lots of interesting Q control options for this. So let's look at the main rig here. So same thing here, you have the main control, bam, secondaries, control visibility, joint visibility, untouchable visibility. So if you go in here, Let's go back and you can see what that does here. So that's the thread warp mesh with the drop off and the smoothness. So you can check that out for yourself there. And then you have model vis again on off and all the reference options there. This little controller here is just rotation and actually just rotates like this. So you got the pivots off the side, which is super cute. He does that a lot. Beep, 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 beep. And also forward like that, which is cool. As you can see how it's just the wheels, how the wheels don't rotate, just kind of pivot off of there. Very cool, I love this. Speaking of wheels, let's get closer here. You got these guys. You can translate these around and detach. You can rotate them around like that. You can see here, pivot is in that middle piece. So if you take this out, you can see here, and you do that, this is as far as they go. Just like real pieces here, and it will pivot off that middle part. There's a little bit of room there. Then you got a distance, so you can go, you can animate that. You have auto distance on as well, and then you have to follow for different pivots. So with all of these options here, you can check this out. So I'm gonna put this back to zero here, not that it makes a difference, but as you can see, when you grab this guy, and there's a little pointy here, you drag this, oh, the wheels turn. Yeah, yeah, that is fantastic. I love it. Speaking of wheels, let's go back. So you got pivot here, let's say body. So when you select this here, you can see the difference where now the wheels are turning a little bit, but that whole thing stays with the body versus this one is not. 
So when you go back here and you select this, beep, it goes back like that, bringing this back to zero like such. And in this one, when you have the pivot here, let's go back here. You can move this up and you can see it's like that. Then you go back in here, change the pivot to body. So you can see how that is resting like that. And then also you have the option of match translate as well. Again, this will all work like this and pivot like that. So cool. And then at the bottom, you got inherit noise and speed amplitude and amplitude XYZ options. The same thing here. So you got those options here as well. And they give you rotational options to change this like that too, until it breaks, of course, but you have that here as well. This, of course, is on both sides. These are like legs. You're going to have both. Then let's go might as well here. You can open up ta -da, this here. And I just love, look at that. How fantastically modeled this piece is. I love this. So cute. All of these have the noise options as well. And when you go to the main controller, same thing here. You can, of course, move this around. So if we translate this all the way up, you can see it will detach. But you have a little bit of a tuk -tuk 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 things you can do. You can rotate this around, but you cannot scale. Let me close this up. This also closes with the limits. I can't break through. Then you got that little button here. And when you select this, you can't do anything with it because it changes color. So this is for you here to change the colors that you need. Also very cute. Let's go to the arms. Let's start here. You got your shoulders so you can rotate this around. Again, has nicely set limits depending on the model here. So you can't rotate like this. You can't go like that, but you have a little bit of up and down. There is a bit of a translate though this way. So you can see here how it follows along like that with a limit again. Very cool. You have an extend control here. You can see how it comes out wah, 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 like that. There's the slide option. I know what that is. Then you got your controller here. Only this part. So cute though. But this rotates freely. So there are no limits there. When you take this one, it will rotate the arm like that. And if you ever in doubt what it's going to do, you can see this in the channels. It only marks what is possible. Click on this here. You have your IKFK switch. You got fingers and like that curl and meta. So if you do all of them, let's get a bit closer. It will rotate them like this. You have that. These are all separate, right? So you can do these separately. You have all curl like that. You just have thumb curl, index and pinky curl. And of course, you have options to select these separately and do whatever you want to do with that separately, too. Now, this is in IK mode at the moment. So when you do this, you can see there's no elbow, but you can move things around freely like this. You do have secondary controls here. So when you have that, you can move it around like this. You can also rotate that wrist around like that. When you turn this off, again, you can do the same thing like this and you can also rotate. There's also a stretch function. It is like that it has a limit as well. You can go in and out like this and of course stretch on off like that. Same thing with the follows here. You got world global body and shift and match as well with all those options here. Lots of cool details. And let's go back here. You switch this to FK. You can see it adds a controller here. that you do all kinds of rotations freely here and the rest stays the same. Of course, you have also again, follow options here as well. And going back to this, let's just show you here. When you have slide on off, it changes how the arm it's affected by, for instance, a rotation. We rotate this back and you can see how that arm stays put. But let's go back here and turn slide on. You can see that I just did a little bit of a switch and it changes with the body, but you can go back here, for instance, let's go world. So now when you do this, you can see, actually, let me just bring this guy a bit more into the middle. Now you can see how it changes and slides depending on that world setting there. All right, let's bring this all back to normal, more or less, arms a bit different. This is, of course, on both sides. These are arms. You have this one here. This is the head pull control. So you move this around and you can see it's the middle part that you translate like that. But you also have these guys if you want to rotate. You can see here it falls right through there. There's no limit this time on that. You can see the rotation is just in this. And all of these have the noise option here. This guy will have that rotation as well. You can see here 
as it pivots through that. There are no limitations on this one. You can go through and do whatever you want to do. No translates and no scale, of course. Then back here, you have the head origin. So you can translate and you can move this up here. So you can move that head around here, around here, whatever you need to do. Back here, we have a rotation that opens this flap here. Has inherent noise and all the speed controls here as well. And then going back here on the back side, you have this one that moves this up and down. You can see this here, just in one axis here as well. Secondary controls and of course the noise. And you got this one on the side here. This one is for the rotation instead of a translate. So if you want to do both, it's there. Different options, of course, this is on both sides. Going up here, you got another neck control. You got rotations and this is on all sides, no limits there. And then we get to the head. Now the head, you can translate around. You can see this performs like an IK with a little bit of a bend here, like a little arm. You can rotate with this top controller, no scale. And as you go closer here, you will see you got secondary controls. You got the follow here as well, as well as noise and speed controls. Then we get to the eyes. These are both the same controllers. You have rotations where you can move this whole socket. There's no limit on this one. So this will go through this here. You have an eye scale. Let's go back here. You can really scale this up like that. You have an iris scale, which is like this. There is a limit on this, but there is no limit on that. And the same inherent noise and speed. You can turn off the polys. You can see all the little rig options that you have, all those controllers is all very neatly laid out. Super cute model. I'm going to play around with this and move this around so you can really see how the treads are functioning and the noise controls and all the secondary stuff. It'd be very interesting to test that out. But the rig again is super cute. Obviously, you got limitations as you should, given that this is a Lego piece here. It would be kind of cool to be able to translate this around and kind of potentially destroy the model a little bit more maybe to take a couple of pieces out now this will probably unravel all kinds of things and i'm not seeing anything here in terms of more options here there's joint visibility model vis and all that stuff and secondaries but it would be kind of neat to be able on some level to detach certain pieces i mean i know it would be crazy to have controllers for all of these but it would be kind of fun there, I say, to be able to just completely break this apart and animate how it would maybe assemble. I mean, that would be really cool, but I can also imagine a nightmare to set up. But that concludes the overview and review of that rig. If you have any rig that you want me to look at, post on Animation Buffet or review, feel free to send me an email. Feel free to check out my channel as I post lectures and acting analysis clips, animation analysis clips, product reviews, animation news, all kinds of things on the channel for you to browse through. So go check it out. Feel free to subscribe if you want to, so you don't miss any of my uploads. And that's it for me. I will say a Bye bye. Oh, wait, I can do this here. Bye bye and see you in my next upload.